Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and uh, we're going to be bringing you the financial analysis on a building that sold in the month of June 2023, and we'll break out what it sold for and <clears throat> some of the accompanying metrics with that. So let's get right into it. The only points I want to make about this building is that it was located centrally in Ottawa. It was apparently a very nice building with one of the units that was um, owner occupied, and with these owner occupiable units we typically see these sell for a higher amount of money so and that means some of the other numbers are kind of messed up so let's take a look at what went on it was listed for almost a million six it sold for one million five hundred sixty thousand dollars the scheduled rental income was about a hundred and one thousand dollars <throat> deducting for vacancy and bad debt brings us down to an effective rental income of about ninety eight thousand dollars now the operating expenses you can see here are close to 35,000. When we factor in uh, management and maintenance, that brings us up to total operating expenses of a little over $44,000. That gives us an NOI of close to $54,000. So, what does that mean now that we got that? The cap rate was about 3.4. Operating expense ratio, that's on the high side, very high side actually, a 45%. It sold for 16 times the gross or 29 times the net. Again, very high numbers. So, you know, it's sort of obvious where this is going at this point. Now, if we go in with a 35% down payment, which is becoming more of a dinosaur, I guess, uh, to use as a standard to determine if a property cash flows or not. Um, anyhow, using that 35%, um, that down payment would be about $546,000. And that will leave us with a mortgage of $1,014,000. Now, that gives us an annual debt service on that mortgage of $72,000. We know what our NOI is, we know what our annual debt service is now, and that gives us a negative cash flow of close to nine thousand dollars and that's a negative ROI of 3.4 percent so what would it take in order if you're just an investor you weren't going to own or occupy it what would it take as a down payment for this to cash flow positive so all these numbers remain the same until we get to here and we have a down payment of 52% required in order for an investor to make a profit on this building. So you have the privilege of paying $811,000 on your investment. <clears throat> and that leaves you with a mortgage. And by the way, we're calculating this mortgage at 5.25% uh, with 25-year RAM. And... Uh, it's $749,000. Your annual debt service is now $54,000. And that gives you a marginal, marginal cash flow, positive cash flow of $320 per year and an ROI of 0.04%. If you have any questions, give me a call.